Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another one of those cultural slash religious videos for you all. Now, in a few days, Hindus all across the world are going to be celebrating the holy festival of Maha Shivratri. And Shivratri is basically the Hindu festival dedicated to Lord Shiva. For all of you guys that do not know, Lord Shiva is the destroyer of evil and he is one of the three main gods in the Hindu pantheon. You have Vishnu who is the preserver in the middle here, you have Brahma which is the creator up here, and you have Lord Shiva of course which is the destroyer. But on this day of Mahashivratri, Hindus all across the world, just like many other Hindu holidays, they make sweets, they make a vegetarian meal, they share their time with family, they pray. And what I'm going to be doing in today's video is showing you guys a quick little setup and the items that you will need for the Shiva Linga. Puja. For anybody who does Shiva Puja regularly, you'll know that the Lingam Puja is a very vital part of it. Now the Lingam is a representation of Lord Shiva. It also represents generative power in the world. Now this video is very special to me today because I'm going to be collaborating yet again with Leah's Fashion and Religious House in Queens, New York. Now their address is 11004 Liberty Avenue in Richmond Hill, Queens, New York. Make sure you all go ahead and check them out. They are a small local shop in Queens, New York, and they sell everything that you would need, not only for your Shiva Puja for Mahashivratri, but they sell anything for weddings, for any pujas or jandis. They also sell things for funerals, any type of puja or prayer that you would need to complete, they have items for. I would really like to thank Auntie Crystal as well as her daughter Ashmani for helping me put this video together. And make sure if you all go and visit them that you mention that Matthew's Guinness Cooking sent you. Now the staff at Leah's Fashion and Religious House have a quick little message for all of you at home. They would like to wish everyone a happy Maha Shivratri. May the blessings of Lord Shiva bring happiness, peace, good health, wealth, prosperity, and harmony. <laughs> Now, one of the things that I always tell you all whenever I make these types of videos is that the best thing to do before you start any type of setup is number one, make all of your sweets and your parsad and prepare those items. So this way you have them ready when you go to set up your baby or the area where you will be completing your puja. The offerings that I'm going to be putting on my tari as an offering to Lord Shiva will be some sugar cane that I've peeled and cut into slices, a banana, make sure you peel off the stems, and I'm putting on a washed apple as well as some star fruit that I had that I just sliced up. You can use whatever types of fruits or anything that you wish to put on the plate. I'm also going to go in with a lot of para. Remember, para is said to be Lord Shiva's favorite sweet, and it is said to be his offering of choice. And of course, we're going on with our Mohan Bog or Parsad. And another offering that is usually given to Lord Shiva is pomegranate seeds or anar. Now, if you wanted to put the whole fruit on the tari, you can, or you can use the seeds like I'm doing today. And of course, being that this is an offering to God, you want to adorn it with a flower of your choice. Shiva's colors are usually purple, peach, blue, green, or white, as you see here. There's many other colors that people tend to use for him. Use whatever color flower that you prefer. And onto the tari, I'm going to be going on with a bale leaf as well. Bale leaves are something that is usually used for Shiva Puja. And this is the final tari full of parsad fruits and flowers to make your offerings to Lord Shiva. And the next thing you should always do before even starting that setup and after making your parsad is to go ahead and lay out all of the sarjam or the materials that you have. During Hindu pujas, there's a lot of little offerings that are made and lots of different items that are needed for these pujas. So the best thing to do is to lay everything out, make sure you have a little checklist of some sort. Now this is the sarjam or the puja pack that Leah's Fashion and Religious House sells. This one is the puja pack meant for Lord Shiva being that this is a Shivratri video, but they also have ones dedicated to the other Hindu gods and goddesses. Now within this puja pack, you will get a flag dedicated to the god or goddess being worshipped, a pack of incense or agarbati, supari, dye or haldi, camphor, hawan samagri, dupe or the wood sticks to put in your hawan, as well as some sindur and chandan, and an extra dia, some atar or perfume, as well as some wicks for your dia, some gogol or frankincense, as well as some nutmeg and some clove. And there's a little bundle of red thread, there's a bottle of honey, 
a bottle of ghee, and a little pack of elaichi or cardamom pods. Now remember, these are all of the general puja items that you would normally need. Now depending on your priest or the type of puja that you're doing, some of these items may vary, and trust me, Leah's Fashion and Religious House will have them in stock. And now that we've made our parsad, and we've also gone ahead and laid out our sarjam or the materials that we need for the puja, it is time to do the final. So the first part of the setup that I'm going to take care of is the dar or all of the liquids that are going to be offered to the Shiva Lingam. Now in this puja, there are eight different liquids that are offered or items and I'm going to lay them out in these cups to show you exactly what they are. So the first liquid that we're going to need is some milk and the second liquid that we're going to need is some Ganga gel. And as you all can see here, this is what the bottle looks like. The third item that I'm going to be pouring into one of these cups is some sugarcane juice. Now, a lot of people, if you live in tropical areas such as Florida, you might have access to fresh cane juice. And in the next cup, I'm going to be going in with some coconut water. Now, as usual, if you have access to fresh coconuts, you can get the water from it or you can use the canned version as I'm using here. And the next item that I'm going to be adding into one of these cups is some yogurt or dahi. Basically, this is just plain yogurt. You want to make sure that you read the label to make sure there is no salt added. And into the next cup, we're going to be going in with some ghee. And the next item that I will have in the other cup is some sugar water. So into that cup, I'm going in with some water and then I will be adding in a little bit of brown sugar, just a couple of spoonfuls, and then I'm gonna stir it up very well until that sugar is dissolved. And the final item to be offered to the Shiva Lingam is some honey. So today, the way that I'm gonna set up the area where we're gonna complete the puja is I'm going to take two chowkis or two stands. You can purchase these at Leah's Fashion and Religious House as well. And on top of it, I'm gonna put this really nice purple cloth that they gave me. Now, if you wanted to, you could use the traditional baby, which is that wooden box, and fill it with dirt and then cover it with rice or decorate it to your liking, and then do the puja on top of that. But as you all can see, since we are doing Shiva Lingam puja, I'm gonna put one tari in the middle, and you want a big enough tari, so this way when you pour all of the liquids on the Shiva Lingam, it will not overflow from the tari. You can use a tari, or you can use a bowl, or just something large enough to hold all of those liquids. And inside of the tari, I'm going to be putting my Shiva Lingam. And remember, whenever you're doing Shiva Lingam Puja, you have to make sure that the Lingam is facing north. And at this point, you can start to place all of the other items on the baby as you please. So on the right hand side, I went ahead and I put my plate with the parsad, the fruits, the flowers. And on the left hand side, I've put all of the liquids for when I go ahead and throw the dar or all of the offerings on the Shiva Lingam. And I have all of my flowers and leaves that I would need for the puja. So of course I have fresh flowers, I have bale leaves, and you need eight bale leaves for your Shiva Lingam puja. And I have some madar flowers, which are very optimal for Shiva puja and I have some pond leaves. Now at the bottom of the structure where we're gonna complete the puja, I went ahead and I laid out the flag that we need if we were raising it, and I laid out the tari with the leaves and the fresh flowers, and I'm also keeping a large lota filled with water because during any puja, you will usually need extra water. And of course, with any puja, you need a plate with your arti or a little dia that you filled with ghee and a wick, and you've lit it. This is what you're going to do as you are giving arti to your family members after the puja is complete, or to the gods and goddesses that you are worshipping. And I've also lit a couple of incense or agarbati, so this way it can start to permeate the area that we're going to complete the puja at. On the bottom here, I've also kept a pack of incense or agarbati in case you need to keep replenishing it while you're doing your puja. And the last thing that I wanted to show you all is this beautiful Lord Shiva tapestry that was gifted to me by Leah's Fashion and Religious House. Now this right here is just something really nice to decorate the space where you're completing your puja. And as you all can see, this is what the final setup looks like for our Shiva Lingam puja for Maha Shivra. So that is it everyone. I really hope you all enjoyed this amazing video today. I had lots of fun putting it together and I hope you all learned just a little something new. Once again, I want to thank Leah's Fashion and Religious House for helping me put this video together. They've been such a great help in putting together these religious and cultural videos for you all. I love sharing these videos every once in a while just because I know that the new generation, they are very curious, they want to know more, and of course, you never want to see your culture and your religion dying out. So this is the reason why I share these videos. And with that said, I hope this Shivratri brings you nothing but joy, happiness, wealth, prosperity, good health, and of course, I hope you make some delicious foods and items to share between your family, 
friends, and loved ones. May Lord Shiva bless you guys with his choicest blessings always and forever. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a nice big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed yet. Give me the Shivratri gift of being my newest subscriber and newest family member online here. And of course, drop those comments down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. And if you're interested in any of these cultural videos, go ahead and drop some comments and let me know which other ones I should be doing. I'll see you all again very soon in one of my next videos. Bye everyone.